One of the biggest enemies of those in power doing wrong is people finding out that they're doing something wrong. People communicating with each other in the court of public opinion, talking to each other. Free speech is essential to a free and open society. And now we're living in an insane world where those who portray to be the overseers, the watchers, the people who are supposed to be the fourth estate are calling for that to end. This is an absolute crazy story that starts off with, of course, dissenter, which, of course, was a plugin that described itself as ultimately the comment section of the Internet. And because of just insane smears, Mozilla, Google Chrome, this article says refuses to support it. No, they purged it. They deleted it. They're making sure that you can't find a system that allows you to communicate with one another, to simply talk to one another on internet websites where many of them, including news organizations, have totally deleted comments. Jason, this is a crazy story. Uh, we have an article here by CJR.org, uh, which is the Columbia Journalism Review, talking about their headline, New Plugin Plugin allows the far right to graffiti any website. Again, let's just decipher this here. Um, I'm going to try to decipher this as best as I can. I would love your take on it. Uh, pretty much, shut up, you peasants. You're not allowed to have a voice. That's pretty much what the title screams at me. What, what does it scream at you? All right. So, you know, having to look into this story and, and listen uh, to what this actually is, just so people understand what Dissenter is, okay? So imagine an app where every single article has a comment section built into the app and that's it. So in other words, nobody without the app sees what you're saying. So it's a community. It's like a, a, a WhatsApp for news articles. Everybody a on Discord. that article. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost like a chat room, if you will. But again, it's a plug-in. So it's not by definition left or right or far left or far right or conservative or liberal or Democrat or Republican. It's simply people speaking like we do on video about articles by typey typing, <laughs> okay? And somehow, the uh, Columbia Journalism Review tries to associate you typing your opinion about what somebody else typed as graffiti. It's almost yeah. insulting. Yeah, by, the, by their analysis, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, major platforms, they're guilty of the same thing that they're accusing dissenter of being guilty of. And Jason, this article starts off with their critique of a Marvel movie. <laughs> this is so insane. Uh, oh, I, I am flabbergasted. The first argument that they decide to make here is, is they're saying, well, people reviewed Bomb, uh, <laughs> a website, and said that they did not want to see Captain Marvel. Yes, that's people's opinions. You may not like people's opinions, but you can't say it's a review bomb and say that this is hate speech and far wait, right wait, let's, let's, uh, graffiti. Let, let's pull it back for a second. So for those that don't know, because we did cover this a couple weeks back when it was news, maybe even three weeks ago, Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> removed like 50,000 what they called reviews, but were really comments on Captain Marvel. The movie hadn't come out yet. So it was basically people expressing that they did not like the movie based on the trailers that they'd seen and they weren't going to see it. And all of a sudden, Rotten Tomatoes took their digital iron fist and swiped them all away and yep. then got a hold of the media apparatus to say, far-right trolls who hate women tried to screw us over with Captain Marvel. And that was the narrative most of these sites like Vox and BuzzFeed ran with. Jason, let me just correct you. It wasn't even a review of the film. That's what I'm saying. It, came out. it was specifically the want to see score. Yeah. People were like, I don't want to see this. The main actress is talking about some crazy social justice warrior libtard stuff about white males and all this other stuff. I just want to enjoy a movie. I don't want to be throwing political bullcrap propaganda at me the whole time. And people are like, I don't want to see this. That's all it was. It wasn't even reviewing the movie before it came out. And of course, uh, just total corporate collusion. This is what it really is here. This is really the bigger bottom line here uh, that's happening here. It's a top-down control. It's like, hey, we don't want you guys talking to each other. We don't want you getting any ideas. And we're seeing you know, this have so many ramifications, not only with dissenter now being purged by Google and Mozilla. Mozilla actually officially responded and said, 
you know, hate speech doesn't have a place on our platform. What are you talking about? You look at, you know, Twitter comments, you look at uh, YouTube comments, there's a bunch of bull, there's people expressing their opinion and they're going to be expressing it more the more you try to censor it and shut it down. But by those rules, Mozilla should shut down all the other big social media networks because there is some hate speech there as well. There's, there's always going to be a bunch of idiots, but the more you try to shut down and censor, the more extremist you will make them and the more prevalent you will make them because that's the way that the internet works. That's the basic code of how uh, the internet interacts with one another. Uh, and this brings me to the next piece here by BuzzFeed News in their opinion piece. Uh, thank God they, they classified this as an opinion. That's actually surprising that they did this. But their opinion piece is titled, Facebook needs to crack down on hate speech. So does mainstream media. What are you talking about? Where is the hate speech on mainstream media? I watch their corporate bull crap. What are they talking about? Cracking, where, Jason? When's the last time you saw hate speech perpetrated by the mainstream media? Anytime? Well, well, obviously the 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 the, the propaganda divide and conquer agenda. But on 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 paper, where have you seen the hate speech that they speak of on mainstream media? When you're saying on paper, basically what uh, the mainstream's valuation of hate yes, speech yeah. is? Are they promoting the far right agenda? Are they promoting that white nationalist Donald Trump who's so evil and racist? Again. This piece is completely ridiculous. What are they calling for? More censorship. I've got news for them. They are correct. There's a ton of hate speech on the mainstream media, but that's the hate speech endorsing drone attacks in Afghanistan, Syria, and other places. That's the hate speech saying that we need to go in militarily against Venezuela. That's the real hate speech, but that's not what they want curated. This is about the establishment gaining back the narrative every which way they know how, Luke, through the internet and through the mainstream media. It's their only dog and pony show. It's the only thing they know. Yeah, hate speech, by the way, by the mainstream media talking about war, that actually leads to people dying. Mm -hmm. People die because of U.S. bombs being shot at them and them exploding for corporate geopolitical, mostly petrol dollar related reasons that are not for democracy and freedom. You don't bomb someone to smithereens to promote freedom. This is their words, politicians' words on the screens calling for war, calling for soldiers to go and attack them, trying to propagandize you to hate another country or another group of people in this world. That's that could that should be if we're living in a just world, that should be considered hate speech, calling for the murder of someone else and actually doing it. Uh, Hillary Clinton, that's exactly what she did. If we're living in a just society, those people who did it based on lies would be held accountable. They're not. They're going after some stupid troll sitting on there just making stupid comments so he could get some kind of emotional reaction, some kind of real life sense or feeling in this world. And, and th those are the guys that, of course, we have to concentrate on. Those are the guys that just say something stupid that barely anyone pays attention to because obviously we know it's stupid. Those are the guys that you want to concentrate your efforts on. Those are the guys you want to shut down. What kind of asinine – I can't curse here. Uh, Family-friendly show. We need, I need a bleep button, Jason. I need a bleep button that's loud that could just let me express myself fully uh, because uh, it just shows you – already. and already this is also important to bring up here. Um, th their psychological propaganda has already worked. Already a number of people are censored. Already a number of people are being screwed over by the algorithm. Already uh, we're seeing uh, mainstream media voices being plastered all over the internet, all over YouTube. Every recommendation, every search link. If it's not even the video search results now, it's article links. Everything is just being shoved down your throats by this corporate propaganda that exists to serve those in power, to obligate, bend the knees, go on their knees, look up and slurp up the, the freaking tyranny. And then they regurgitate it to you as doing the right thing and fighting hate speech and the far right. Come on, don't bullcrap me. Let's just be honest to what they are. That's my assessment. Uh, what's your assessment on all of this? And, well, and uh Luke, yeah. I, I would say that there's one more big aspect that this is going to drive. It's going to drive competition and other platforms. Now, whether or not they build a separate browser altogether, I've been advocating for an entirely new internet, not just like a Tor browser. But as you can see with like DLive, you know, now getting PewDiePie, it looks like they're going to go after YouTube. This is an alternative platform we just joined. So... They knocked off this alternative platform, Dissenter. They've gone after Gab.ai, another alternative platform. Guess what? You can knock them down like whack-a-mole 
all day long. Eventually, one's going to pop its head up, jump out of the thing, jump on your face and tear into your eyeballs and take you down. And it's going to be the one that promotes freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and for all of us to use it with our own voices, not to be curated by a system that caters to elitist propaganda. Yeah, you brought up some good inf information. If you still want to download the center, the center is letting everyone know that you could still download it, but now you have to do it manually where you have to go on their website and try to find it there. But there's other alternatives. I mean, this is, this was huge news. PewDiePie said, I'm going to be doing live streams on DLive and giving away close to $50,000. That's happening this Sunday. Uh, I'm, I'm literally uh, setting up, uh, I, I literally just set up a channel. I started live streaming just stupid video games, playing around, talking to people. I'm going to have a lot of fun on that platform. Uh, so definitely, yeah, check out DLive.tv uh, forward slash we are change. I believe that's the URL. Yeah, that's the URL, and you can see me playing around trying to figure out audio issues. Now, holy cow, there's a whole bunch of audio problems, but uh, <laughs> if later on in the feed, I usually fix them. And then um, really also good, positive uh, community out there. I, I've been surprised. Usually uh, there's a lot of uh, you know snarky, like really crazy comments on YouTube, but over there, there it seems like a really, really uh, amazing community uh, that um, I'm having a lot of fun participating with and enjoying with and actually uh, you know streaming freaking video games of all things on there dan dix also sign up to this too uh so i'm going to be doing that more i'm going to do one later on today of course uh, after we're done with the videos here but stay tuned on uh, dlive.tv forward slash we are changed sign up on our email list we're also on the chopping block um and unless you have anything else to say jason i'm going to end it here uh by saying simply love you guys thank you again so much for watching stay tuned for more here on we are change.org